What's up, guys? This is Look at This Lag Bro bringing you guys another gameplay and commentary. And I'm playing on Raid here with the PDW, and a lot of my videos do occur on this map because most of my good gameplays come on this map. But usually, I upload the best gameplay that I get in about an hour of playing because I only play for about an hour each day. So here I go 75 and 5 at the end of it, which is okay. But. I mean, that's really it. It's just okay. So, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about really the score streaks over the years, the kill streaks and score streaks and whatever other streaks you could have had over the years, and the development and the, the uh, effect that it has on the game. So, first, I'm going to start off by saying that. Score streaks have gotten over the years, over the Call of Duties, better and better and better, and more, more kills, more kills, more kills they get in every new game. So, what I'm gonna do here is I'm pro I'm just gonna go go ahead and start talking about the stuff that I think about the kill streaks in each game. So we'll start out with COD Four since that's the first game that I have experience with, the earliest game of the COD series. So. First, we have Call of Duty 4. The score streaks, I mean the kill streaks there were UAV, like airstrike, and then uh, attack helicopter. And those are basically, like, those are the most basic streaks you can get in a Call of Duty game. And the reason that Call of Duty 4 was good is because they kept the game simple with the kill streaks. And you didn't depend on the kill streaks to get you the hundred pluses because unless unless you were playing on shipment which is the smallest map in the game shipment on a in modern warfare call of duty 4 then you weren't getting a hundred kills and that was good because you could always run around the map and there was no reason to like be hiding inside the whole time because there was just like the kill streaks weren't weren't like overpowered if you would they didn't get you like a hundred kills like this game kinda does but Anyway, it was hard to get 100 pluses in, in Call of Duty 4, if not impossible, because I've never really seen anyone get 100 pluses on any map except Shipment, because the kill streaks were simply, like, not strong enough. They were good, balanced, they were, I guess you could say, underpowered. But anyway, that's it for COD 4. So we're going to move on here to Call of Duty 5, World at War. And it's kind of the same concept with World at War. You have three preset kill streaks, which is a spy plane or a recon plane. I think it's called a recon plane, a, um, a an artillery strike, which is basically just a precision airstrike, and attack dogs, which only was a seven kill streak. And you can see how attack dogs have developed over time, because in Call of Duty Five, they were a seven kill streak. And in this one, you have to get 1,900 or something like 17, 1,800 points in a row to get dogs, which is, you know, we'll say about 15 kills to get dogs. And that's more than double, and that's pretty good because the dogs are definitely better in this game. They kill in one hit, but either way, in, in uh, World of War, it was also hard to get 100 pluses because of the... The uh, score streaks were not that strong, and that's that's good because the game was also balanced. You had a lot of good perks, a lot of good weapons in that game. So now we're gonna move on to Modern Warfare 2, and this is where the the kill streak era really just boomed and skyrocketed here. So it's the first game that that they let you uh, choose your own kill streaks, and there were a lot of kill streaks to choose from in the game. All the way from a three kill streak to a twenty five kill streak, which was the nuke that ended the game in um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two. So with the nuke, it ended the game, but you had to get twenty five kills in a row. But that's a lot easier said than done, considering that your the kills that you got with the streaks counted towards your kill streak. So it was a lot easier to get higher kill streaks in that game because if you got a Harrier strike. Which is only a seven kill streak. If you got a Harrier strike, then after that, it was really 
all you need to do is get four more kills with the Harrier, and then with the Chopper Gunner, you get most of the kills for the nuke, and then you maybe get one or two more if you didn't get it already. But, yeah, the kill streaks in that game were really good. They are really powerful, and they got you a lot of kills. Even though I would say that there were barely any 100 pluses on Modern Warfare 2 either. So now we'll move on to Black Ops. And Black Ops had good kill streaks as well. They did not have a lot of overpowered kill streaks. The chopper gunner, or the, I think it was, yeah, the, the gunship in in Call of Duty Black Ops was was pretty good. I mean, you could control your own kill, you can control your own uh, own plane and uh, shoot people with it and shoot missiles also. So it was a good kill streak, but it wasn't really that o overpowered, like. It wasn't going to get you 100 kills unless you're spawn trapping and shooting at your own spawn with the uh, thing. But all in all, another good game of kill streaks. It had uh, the, the, the attack dogs, which is probably the best thing in that game because the dogs only took one hit to kill. But that was good because it rewarded good players with high kill streaks like that. And dogs was only an 11 kill streak that game, but that's. That's still good because the game was a little bit slower paced than Modern Warfare 2 because of the there was no stopping power in that game. But really good game, Black Ops. So then we move on to MW3, and then that's kind of where Killstreaks got a little bit overwhelming. And that's where the 100 pluses and the 200 pluses even just, just took off in that game. And I know that because I've played with a bunch of people that could get 200 kills. So... Like, all you have to do is really get, like, an AC-130, a chopper, uh, I don't even know the kill streaks in that game. I think there's, there's an AC-130, a Reaper, like, all those kill streaks were really, really good, and they got you a lot of kills, but they, they didn't stack up, which was good. But there were also point streaks, so you could get it for, like, capping flags and, and stuff like that. But, I like, I like the fact that the score streaks were high in that game, because it rewarded good players. As, as said again, like the earlier Call of Duties didn't really reward good players because the killstreaks were low and easy to get, and they didn't do much anyway. But now finally, moving on to this game, where the killstreaks are just out of, like, amazing. You get the Swarm and the Dogs together, get you probably 40 kills each time. So, you get two of those, that's 80 kills, pretty much, just, just saying, like, if everything goes as planned, you get 40 kills with each. Sometimes, you probably won't get that much. Usually, that's like a really good one, 40 kills in Ground War. But, the Dogs and Swarm together are amazing, but separately, not as much. They kind of both suck when they're separate, and I explained why in another video, so if you want to go check that out. But, anyway, over the years in Call of Duty, the killstreaks have gotten a lot, a lot more entertaining and better to use so that's just my opinion and if you guys have anything else leave it in the comments so thank you guys for watching